Okay, we're here at the University of Arizona Yuma Agricultural Center with Leo Chavez, Dr. John Palombo's technician. Uh, he's going to demonstrate how we evaluate uh, three populations. Leo, please. Okay, what we have here is for our trips uh, sampling. It's uh, just a regular 6x12 yellow sticky trap. Uh, we make them into 6x6 so that they can fit in our meat pan sample here. And once we uh, sample the plant, we'll go ahead and wrap it up with a stretch uh, tight plastic wrap. We'll go ahead and do one plant here. Of course, uh, one side of this uh, sticky trap will be laid with a plot number and a treatment color. So go ahead and uh, take one of the papers off and uh, we'll go ahead and uh, sample one plant. What you do, go ahead and uh, hit it three times on the bottom, twisting the plant, three on top, one on the bottom, then two opening up the center. That way uh, we get most of the trips uh, already in the bowl. That we go ahead and uh, bring the trap out, get our uh, stretch tight uh, plastic wrap, and we go ahead and wrap it up, kind of get twist it maybe once or twice. That'll kind of stretch the plastic a little just to make it uh, look nice and good. As you can see on the naked eye, you can could, you could see a lot of adults, uh, trips adults, and also a few larvae on there. Once we've done this, we'll go ahead and take it into the lab, draft it out, and count our uh, trips uh, in under the microscope, and that way we can evaluate the uh, efficacy of some of the treatments here. And of course, a lot of these uh, different flags there are just different treatments for uh, uh, the trips uh, evaluations here with the, here at the university, and that's our sampling method. Okay, so we are back in the lab. We're gonna show how we uh, prepare our sticky prep. We go ahead and cut off the excess uh, wrap, uh, plastic wrap. We go ahead and leave about an inch around it. And uh, once we take this off, we'll go ahead and use our clear tape here just to kind of uh, hold the, the ends together. Of hold it in place, which makes it easier to count the insects. Okay, once we've done that, we go ahead and uh, graft, uh, we use a ruler to make our lines here. We use a sharpie, fine point pen. Make our lines up just to help us uh, guide us on the, on the counts that we won't get lost. Sometimes we just have so many of them that we don't have to wrap it. Then once we've done that, we go ahead and start our actual counts here. And we'll go ahead and uh, make a small B uh, shaped marks for the adults, and then uh, small circles, that's for the, the trips larvae. Then once we uh, once we've done the whole trap, we'll go ahead and come back and count each of these. And uh, we'll go ahead and count the total number of uh, circles. That will give us a total count of our uh, larvae and also the, uh, we'll count the adults. And then uh, once we've done that, we'll get an actual count of the total uh, trips, adults and larvae on this, on this trap. And then uh, that's, uh, once we've done all the all the travel, we'll summarize the data, and then from there we'll go ahead and see uh, our efficacy uh, on the on the clips counts. All right, thanks, Bill. So to finish with the laboratory part of this sampling method, uh, we're here uh, looking in a microscope at uh, western flower thread uh, larvae and. Uh, Gerardo, right here, it's uh, the microscope. We, what, what are you seeing right there? Um, counting the water flower trees larvae. Here is one, here is another one. And you usually mark them with a the circle, right? Yes. Usually we counted the larvae with circle, and 
the adults will make them like like a V. The V shape yes. mark right there. Okay. Here's a right one there. adult. Here's a one more larvae. Okay. And more adults of western flower trees. Yeah, I can see perfectly. You're telling me that you sometimes you find the this other species, the, the onion thrips, and some other species, yeah. eventually? Sometimes we can find the both species together at a time. At a time? Yeah. Oh. Okay. All right. Thanks, Gerardo.